Hello and welcome to Robomonk Art and Tarot. I am Robomonk. Today we are seeing who is your soulmate. And as a subscriber bonus, we are going to look into what you are going to teach each other when you meet each other. And if you have met each other already, lucky you. And we're going to see what you are going to teach each other in the future. So we're going to get into a lot of details, maybe how you meet, what kind of person they are, what kind of connection you'll have, all that stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're just going to see what spirit gives us today as far as details. And this is directly from your questions that you've been posting on the community tab and also down on the comments below like this video if you want to comment below any questions that you may have for spirit. If I can turn it into a general reading, I will because I love the fact that you have input into this channel. We can look and ask spirit these different questions together and find out the answers together. It's all about community here, and I love the fact that you have input into this channel as well. All right, so this is a pick a card. We're going to look at all the different options. I just want to say, as always, thank you for being here. I truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you do want to hit subscribe, that's awesome. And that's just my way of saying thank you to uh, my subscribers by giving them a bonus at the end. And it's just really just like helping a plant grow, helping this channel grow. You got to feed it to help it grow. And that's the best way to help me help you help this channel. And we all benefit from that. All right. So let's see what the piles have for us today. We're going to go look at gemstones. We're going to look at images and we're going to look at the destiny number or the life path number however you want to take that and see which one resonates there's no actual rules you can watch all three it's all good just see what resonates with you all right i'll see you there in pile one we have smoky quartz in pile two we have red jasper in pile three, we have green aventurine. See what resonates and choose your pile. Down in the description, you will find timestamps that you can actually click on and it'll take you directly to that pile or watch all three. I'll see you there. Hello, pile one, and thank you so much for being here with me today. Today, we are exploring who is your soulmate? And we're going to get a lot of details from all of this from Spirit. And also we have a subscriber bonus of what soul lessons will you teach each other? So what will your soulmate teach you and what will you teach them as far as soul lessons go? And that's the subscriber bonus. So if you want to get included on that, just hit subscribe. It's a great way for me to say thank you to you for doing that. So that's why that exists. All right. So here we have a lot of different cards, a different arrangement than we're used to, but this is going to be perfect for what we're doing today. So we are going to see who your soulmate is. We're going to see a lot of different details about them and where you might meet them and how they're going to affect your life. So let's get started. The first image that I see is one of the element of earth. This person is definitely an earth sign for you. They have earth energy and I actually see them running. So they may be very much into physical fitness, but they have a connection with the earth. They think about the 3D earth plane. And they're very grounded here in this 3d earth plane so they are going to know the ways and means of this 3d earth plane how it works and they are very much into being the best that they can be on this 3d earth plane 
And so that means to them making their body physically fit so that they can do the best that they, they can with what they have. The next image that I see is this person is lifting a long beam of steel, maybe in construction or something like that. They could be in construction. That is definitely part of the earth realm, but they definitely have an outer strength to them. So this does not mean that they are a gender male, female, or otherwise. This means that they have a physical presence to them. Okay. They have an outer strength that they show everyone and an inner calmness. They are very grounded. They have an inner calmness. They may not speak a lot, but when they do their words count. Okay. So they are very minimal on the conversation, but when they do speak, they really mean it. I love this next card because it's something that's a little surprising about this soulmate of yours. So I asked spirit, what is something that's unexpected about this soulmate? And I saw this person reading a book with bifocals on. And this person is very much into learning as well. So they love the physical aspect of being here on this 3d earth plane, but they also want to know more, more about this world and more about the universe. They really want to exercise their mind and their body all at the same time, fine tuning it. That is very important for them. That's how they get their happiness. That's how they exist here. And that's the best way that their soul shines through. This physical experience here in this 3D earth plane is something that we don't talk about much on this channel, but it is an aspect that we all must go through while we're here and to be appreciative of that all the different sensations that you get while you're here, all the different ways that you can better yourself physically while you're here. That is something to admire. That's something to look up to. And it's definitely an aspect of this person. They take it very seriously, not to be vain, not to look better so that they can continue to do what they want to do as they age. Now they also see this as a spiritual experience and we may not think of physical exercise as a spiritual experience, but they are honoring what spirit has given them here in this 3d earth plane and making it the best that they can. It's a different way of thinking but it is a respectable way of thinking and they do this also so they can do things for you. So there's so many different aspects to an earth sign and this next card is going to be about how you may meet them. So another aspect of an earth sign is that they actually may like to perform in a musical setting. They love music. They may be at a karaoke bar. They actually may be in a band. You may be out with friends and uh, run into them that way. Or it may be an outing with friends and you are with their friends. It might be a group meeting, something to go out to a restaurant or some kind of nightclub or some kind of activity where you're out and about and you actually meet this person there. It's that connection. Okay. And you may bond over music as well. If that's not going to be the scenario that you meet them, you may bond over music and you may have the same music taste, or maybe they have 
a type of music that you've never heard of, but then you start to like it because they like it or vice versa. This next image is about what they're bringing into this relationship. They're going to bring financial abundance into your life because they know how this earth plane works because they are so grounded because they are consistently thinking about how they can survive and thrive in this plane of existence, then they are able to think of different ways to earn money and they do it consistently. So they are great at going out and getting a job and keeping a job, getting uh, promotions that way. And this is where that financial abundance is going to come into your life. They will definitely help in that aspect. They will also help you get grounded through your storms. So if you are a person that is exploring your emotions, or if something happens to the both of you, they're going to be that rock in that storm that you can hold on to. They will be that steady person that's going to be there by your side through thick and thin and it's going to be okay because they're there. So that is two great, amazing traits that they're bringing into this relationship. Their love languages are all about acts of service. That's why they want to keep up that physical presence, right? And gifts. So they love to give you gifts. They love to receive gifts as well. So they may want to take you out to dinner. They may want to give you some type of token like jewelry or some kind of artwork or maybe a new music piece or something like that. They may even make you something because they love to use their hands. They love to create with their hands. There's, they're a person that is very tactile. They love to touch and feel all the different aspects of this 3D earth plane and create something out of it. And this is how they express their, their love through these kinds of gifts. So it may be a gift from the heart as well. So if they are doing this for you, that means they are saying, I love you. This last image is absolutely adorable. So I see you holding on to a balloon connecting to spirit. Those are those three little dashes in the line above the balloon there connection to spirit. And you are holding on to their hand and they are holding on to yours. And they are having still one foot on the ground. Even though you're lifting them up off the ground, they're still connected to that ground as well. So they'll never fully leave it. And that's actually a good thing in this relationship. Now, what are you bringing to them? You may awaken them to spirit. Okay. They are so concentrating on this 3d earth realm they may never have thought of spirit or their connection to spirit or anything like that it may be something that is totally new to them but you will be able to awaken them to that there's a great synergy between you both as you can see in this picture you are going to keep each other lifted and grounded at the same time and you can move along in the best of both worlds you will show them new paths to walk and new areas to dig deep so you know that they love to be grounded they love to be here in this 3d earth plane but you can guide them along with signs from spirit to say hey have you thought of walking over this way? Have you thought of digging here? Have you thought of this perspective? And you are going to really widen their world as far as spiritual nature and perhaps different ways to look at the world that they live in. 
they're going to be very appreciative of that. As for them, they will show you the ways of this world and how to thrive here. So you may feel more of a connection to the spirit world. They're going to be able to show you different ways, practical ways to thrive here in this 3D earth realm while you're here. So it's a great synergy between the two of you. It's going to be an amazing relationship. Pile one, I'm truly, truly happy for you. And I hope this brings you some clarity. If this person isn't in your life yet, then think of this as a focal point. Think of this as a person to manifest into your life. Spirit is arranging this soulmate coming into your life and you can manifest this type of person if this resonates with you. So think of this as an exercise to manifest this type of person if it really resonates with you. All right. Thank you so much for being here. I want to thank Spirit for being here with us today. And know that you're loved and know that you're blessed. And I'll see you next time. Hello, Pile 2, and thank you so much for being here with me today. Today we are seeing who is your soulmate. We are also going to get a lot of details from Spirit. And as a subscriber bonus, we are going to see what soul lessons you will teach each other. So what will your soulmate teach you? And what will you teach your soulmate as far as soul lessons go? So that is a subscriber bonus. And if you want to be included, just hit subscribe. It's a great way to grow the channel as far as just like watering a plant. It's a great way to grow it. But it's also my way of saying thank you for being here and thank you for participating. So I love this because this is a direct question from all of you that are contributing and asking questions down in the comments of what you want to hear from Spirit. So if you have a question, please feel free to drop one down in the in the comments. And if it's general enough, I can ask it in a general question like this. OK, so we have a lot of different cards here in front of us. I'm going to draw images that I receive from spirit onto the cards, and then I'm going to type different messages that I get from spirit next to the cards. So let's see. Let's see what is all about your soulmate who this is and any details we can get from spirit all right so this first image i get the element of water coming through this element of water and a person diving in to the water this is a person who loves to go deep and explore emotions, explore the shadow side of the world and spirit. What do I mean by the shadow side? This is typically the side of our soul that we don't show publicly. So we may have different private thoughts. We may have different private emotions that we don't show everyone. And we all have this. We all have a light side and a shadow side, and there's nothing evil about it at all. Both are good sides. They are necessary to explore both sides while we're here. We're consistently in and out of the light side and the shadow side as we operate through our lives. Now, when we are in our shadow side, we are exploring our feelings, our emotions, what we want to actually project out into the light side, into the public. And this person really lives in that shadow side. They are really gifted in exploring this shadow side. And they may ask you, how does it make you feel a lot? Okay. So you may get this kind of notion of a psychologist or a therapist or healer okay coming from this person 
So this person, as I said, really has a lot of gifts. This next image, I see them pointing to you and you are looking down at a wound that is bleeding everywhere. And it seems that you didn't realize it was there. So this person is pointing out this wound that has been hurting you for a long time and they will awaken you to the causes of your pain. They will help you heal. So when they ask these different questions, it's not to be nosy. It's not to get your secrets, to know them, to take advantage of you. It's to have them come into your knowledge base, into your awareness. So you can start to work on them, start to think about them. Because if you have a wound that is bleeding, you need to stop that up with a bandage. You need to start to heal it or you may not operate correctly. This person is like a healer. They are coming in and helping you heal this wound. And they are so skilled at it. But it may take some time to get used to how they operate. It may take some time to get used to some of the questions that they ask. And you think, well, why are they, they asking me this? I've never thought about this before. But they're asking to help you because they see this and it's their innate gift. It's what they're born with and they are there to help you. So maybe once you get over the first time that they heal you or the second time, you'll start to see the rhythm and you think, oh, yeah, OK, well, there's something over here. Or there's something over there. Maybe I haven't explored this shadow side or maybe I haven't explored this in my shadow side. And you can really start to get a grip on who you are in your shadow self. And that's going to make you so much more in tune with spirit and your soul. I love this next question because I ask spirit, please show us something unexpected about this soulmate. And this person is dancing their heart out outside to a campfire and there's a full moon and they're dancing around this campfire like there's no tomorrow. So they have a fun side to them. This is something that is still spiritual to them, but they dance joyously. Now you might think a person that's almost always looking and exploring in the shadow side may be very serious. And sometimes they will present that publicly, but they have a fun side. They have an amazing sense of humor. They have an amazing sense of joy and they will show that to you, if not to other very close people around them. They won't show it to a lot of people, though. That's something very special that is between you and them. I really like that. So some places that you might meet the soulmate. You may meet them at group art projects where you are learning how to do something or how to sessions with crafts. You're learning how to do something there where you're a group that's really interested in the same thing and you're learning how to do it. I also got cooking classes. You may meet this person at a cooking class because they are putting together different elements and creating something that is kind of a celebration of this 3D earth plane, which is food, right? Food cooked or prepared very nicely is such a gift of this 3D earth plane. And this person really wants to express that. So these are some areas where you may meet these kinds of people. And this may be one for you, but there are others. This is a general reading. So we'll see what resonates with you. This next card is about what they will bring to your relationship. I see them holding a medical sign across that is for first aid. And then above them, 
they have that spiritual connection those three dashes and then the curved line above is my symbol for spiritual connection so they will bring a healing and spiritual connection to your life they will help you sort out your emotions and fulfill soul contracts so some of us go through life and myself included where we haven't quite analyzed all of our emotions and they come out in very strange ways and we may just think oh well that's normal and we've compensated for them it's like having a limp and you compensate for it and then you're able to get around okay but you're still limping right you're still limping but you're you've compensated enough that you can still get around what you think is an okay way well this person's going to come over and say hey just like in that second card you have a limp and i think i know how i can help you fix that and they're going to help heal your body mind and soul to align it to spirit to align it to your soul and you're going to discover so many things about yourself and about them and about the two of you and just it's going to be an exploration of the soul and through that you can then get answers about your soul contracts you can get answers about how you are going to fill those soul contracts things are going to start to click and you're going to think oh wow okay that's important that's not important that's important that's not important you can sort through your emotions and move on and it's going to be amazing with this person so the love languages of this person is a huge deal to them they have to have quality time the more quality time the better they also need words of affirmation because they too themselves are going through and exploring their shadow side so they may appear like they have everything put together but they actually need your help as well so when they are healing your wound and they are taking care of you you may notice something about them after you've learned their ways you can help them heal themselves as well so the two of you are healing each other as you go along through life and making that connection deeper and deeper between the two of you but all the time it's important to spend time with them and say i love you and say that you mean something to me in different ways that will really reassure them that you are still connected to them so this last card is you pulling them out of the shadow world into the light world because they don't really exist in the light world very much they may stick their head out of the shadow world and then go back in so you will bring them into a world of action okay out of the shadow world into the light where they can stop thinking about their emotions for a little bit and go out and really act upon what they've discovered not always be in their head not always be meditating but go out and actually act upon that in this 3d earth plane they don't know that they will feel better about this but they will and you will have a good sense of where to guide them towards that but it's going to be this consistent push and pull from the light to the shadow light to the shadow between you and them and it's going to create a great synergy between the two of you you will introduce them to different activities and widen their perspective on this world and they will help you discover your true inner self that's an amazing pairing if i've ever seen one so if this person resonates with you and they are not in your life just yet think of this exercise as a way to focus your energy 
as a way to manifest them, as a way to tell spirit that you want this kind of person in your life. Because spirit is bringing in a soulmate to you. So if you can manifest this type of soulmate to you, then now's the time. Now's the time to project that energy out into the world so that you can get this type of person into your life. All right, pile two. I hope this resonates and brings clarity. I want to thank you so much for being here with me today. I want to thank Spirit for being here with us today. Know that you're loved, know that you're blessed, and I'll see you next time. Hello, Pile 3. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today we are seeing who is your soulmate. We're going to get all the details we can from Spirit about this soulmate and how you might meet them and what they may bring to the table as far as a relationship goes. So we're going to explore that. And we also have a subscriber bonus. And that is going to answer the question of what soul lessons will you teach each other? So what is it that you are going to teach your soulmate? And what is your soulmate going to teach you as far as soul lessons? And this whole question came from the viewers here, the members and, and the viewers that have put their own questions down in the comments or in the community tab. And we are taking those questions, making them into a general question for spirit so we can all benefit from it. So if you have a question that you want to ask spirit, feel free to drop it down in the comments and I'll collect it and put it on the list. So as you can see, we have several different cards here in front of us in the arrangement that's perfect for this reading. I'm going to draw images that I receive from spirit. And sometimes I hear little phrases from spirit too. And I type those next to the cards. So let's interpret this all together. Let's get going. The first image that I see is one of an air sign. Now above this, I see your soulmate and there's two winds going away from the soulmate either side. Your soulmate is studying how this air flows and really thinking about why does it flow this way? How does it flow this way? They are analyzers. They are people who ask questions. They want to know how things work and why. And this person seems like a spiritual scientist. So they love both spirituality and science together. The next image that I see is one of your soulmate looking at a giant Rubik's cube. It's floating in the air and they're wondering how to solve it. They are a great problem solver. They may even invent new things or new perspectives for you to think about or for you to enjoy. And they have to know the answer to the questions that they are constantly asking. And this may really excite you because this person is an exciting person to be around. They have a lot of questions. They have great conversation. They are a person who is really curious about the world. And this is something that can be infectious in a very good way because it may get you thinking about how does the world work? How do I work? How do all of these things work together and fit together? And this is really how your soulmate is finding their way and they may not even know it yet. Spirit is letting us in on a little secret. So I asked Spirit, what's something that's unexpected 
about this soulmate of yours? Well, they must know answers to the questions that they ask, which we know that. But why? It's so they know where they fit in in this world. And they can know how their soul can shine best. So if they are solving all of these different problems, they can see where they fit into the puzzle. They can see how they can help others around them the best way, see how they can help you the best way, how they can help themselves the best way, and really create this beneficial ecosystem around them. So this is why they ask so many questions. This is why they're on a consistent quest to answer these questions. It's fascinating. So thank you, Spirit, for that insight. You may feel like this sounds like you as well. And I feel like a person that has these kind of questions is going to really fit in well with this soulmate too. So if you're thinking, oh, this sounds like me. Well, these two types of people, okay, will fit very well together. So if you have constant questions, they have constant questions, you're going to fit in very well together. So that's not a problem. In fact, how you may meet is on a mutual work project or a mutual project where you have to come together. There's a group and there's something to solve. There's a problem to solve. Okay. So this could also be uh, an ecological problem that you have to go in and solve, or you may be cleaning up an area that is important to them as well to have the ecosystem truly clean and sparkling because they know how it all works together and they know the importance of a clean earth. They also would enjoy hiking in the woods with the group because they can experience fitting in to the ecosystem. They also have activities that explore and see the world and they like to travel because they love to see the world in different perspectives, just like that Rubik's cube in the second card there. They love to turn it around, see the object in different angles to see the best way to solve a problem. And that's their true gift. So what will this person actually bring to the relationship? This person will bring spiritual knowledge, curiosity of spirit, excitement, and adventure. They wake up every day with a passion. They have to know what's going on, whatever the question is. And it brings this excitement along with them. So if you have this drive to know how things work, then you will fit in very well with this person because they will include you in on this discovery, this curiosity. You'll be like two children going through the world saying, why is the sky blue? What are the clouds made of? How do we do this? How do we do that? And it's just going to be an amazing synergy between the two of you. But also this person is very protective of you. In this picture here, they have a shield and a sword and they are holding up a book. So they bring spiritual knowledge, but they also bring protection, loyalty, and truth. They are all about truth. They are not about the lies. They are not about falsehoods. They will respect the truth between you and them. That will be the foundation of your relationship. They will also protect you from other things out there that they know isn't good for you because they don't fit in to your ecosystem. And they, with their spiritual knowledge and the way the world works, will understand when that is happening and protect you from that. So that's wonderful too. Their love languages how they say I love you is going to be quality time 
they really need a lot of time with you and they love just spending time with you. Now, this may not be face to face. They may want to be in the same room with you working on a problem or they may want to work on a problem together with you. But they also have words of affirmation and spirit had a little nuance to this because it's going to be an exchange of knowledge. So if they are talking about a problem they're solving and they include you in it, they are actually saying, I respect you and I want your perspective. I love you and I want your perspective. That's how they're saying it. So if they come to you with a problem that they want to solve, this is how they say, I love you. They respect you. They want to hear your perspective. They want to know your knowledge on this and see if you can solve it together. But that quality time is huge for them too. So those are the two ways they're going to say, I love you. And what's interesting about this last card is telepathy. I see you and them being very connected, almost like how twins are connected. It may be that you have known them for several lifetimes because the flow of knowledge between you two is very easily done. I see telepathy where you are knowing each other's thoughts and a deep connection. They offer curiosity and knowledge an endless discovery and you are here for a betterment of yourselves and others both of you so you have this common goal and that's why you work so well together because you kind of feed off of each other's energy i see that and it's quite amazing so I would think you're like a think tank of two, right? You come up with all these wonderful ideas and you think of what different ways to make them turn into action, turn into actionable events. Awesome. So pile three, if this person resonates with you and they aren't in your life yet, then think of this as an exercise of focus of manifestation because spirit is arranging a soulmate for you right now but what type of soulmate do you want you can help manifest this person into your life and help spirit know what you want and this is doable this is a great way to say spirit I really love this type of person in my life. And spirit is arranging that in the background if they aren't in your life already. And voila, they'll be there. All right, Pile 3. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I truly appreciate your presence. And I want to thank spirit for being here with us today too. Know that you're loved. Know that you're blessed. And I'll see you next time. Hello, hello, all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me with the bonus section here. I think we can all agree that we've been enjoying this kind of time together. And if you aren't a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It's a way to uh, help grow the channel, but also for me to say thank you to you for doing that. Okay, so here we are. We are looking into the different soul lessons that you and your soulmate are going to teach each other. So we have two different piles here. It's a specialty deck along with part of the uh, angel tarot deck. So we are going to shuffle these here so we can get a good energy flow going for all of us. And I just want to say that I hope you are having a wonderful day today. 
And I'm sending love and light to each and every one of you because if you're having a great day, then that's just gonna add to it. If you're not having such a great day, then I hope this helps a little bit, knowing that someone is thinking of you and sending you a little love and light your way, okay? All right. So we're gonna shuffle these all up. Here we go. Okay. And then we're gonna shuffle these angel cards here too. And I'm excited to see really what, what lessons you are going to learn from one another. I think that's part of the big connection between soulmates is what you can learn from one another, how they really add to your life and be able to help in certain ways that you didn't know was possible. Okay. So here we are. We're looking for different ways different lessons that you're going to learn from your soulmate and different lessons you are going to teach your soulmate. Okay. Anything that resonates between each card is absolutely a-okay. Uh, it doesn't have to go just in each line, but I am sensing four lines for these four columns. So we're going to do that. Okay, so here's the first connection. The world, Archangel Michael, okay. And power and embrace. Interesting, okay. So joy, contentment, and gratitude are going to be the key components that you're going to teach one another power the power of love is a magnet drawing souls together and embrace what destiny has in store for you so with this triangle here this triangle of energy i'm really sensing quite a wave of that emotional fiery passionate love but also just a sense of warmth and like it says of joy, contentment, and gratitude. That f the fact that you both are going to teach each other how to live each day in joy, teach each other how your relationship can survive through many trials because we all know even though we meet our soulmate the trials keep coming from spirit throughout the universe and in our in our lifetime we will have many different hurdles to jump and having this connection here being able to find joy in every day even when it seems to be a bad day that nothing went right what's one small thing that you can be thankful for and usually there's something usually there's something and i don't know if you've ever experienced that where you've had a bad day and then there's just this one little thing that goes right and it sets your brain going in a different direction. It flips that switch, right? It flips that switch. And all of a sudden, your day is still bad, but not quite as bad, right? It's not quite as bad as it, as it used to be. And I think this connection is going to be a great reminder of the strength of the power of love and really being able to conquer anything that comes your way but yes you will really truly feel like you have the world in your hands with this person and i'm definitely sensing 
the uh, love language of touch with this, with the embrace and the power. Absolutely for sure. Okay, let's see the next connection here. Unity. Archangel Sandalphon. All right. So unity is all about spiritual organization, obstacles, and <laughs> marriage. Wow, boy, does that look uh, correct, doesn't it? Because unity and this card here is all about spiritual organizations, but traditional viewpoints as well. So some of you may be looking to actually get married in a religious organization or outside of a religious organization. You want that show of commitment and tradition. So this would be a great connection for you because this person wants that connection as well and to show it through that traditional traditional means. So a marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together and look for ways around obstacles to find happiness. So just like this pile over here, this connection over here, this connection is going to have obstacles come your way. But it's not going to be in between you. It's going to be almost like you versus the world, right? You're going to be more of a traditional track where you are going to show that marriage and it can be under whatever religion or spirituality you want that's not really the the point of it the point is is that you're taking that traditional track of exchanging rings exchanging vows and making that public show of it okay and it seems like maybe you may be a person that wants to learn about spirituality and they, this may be something that you share with them as well. But you are going to help each other get around these obstacles that are coming your way. And you're going to help each other really understand perspectives where each other is coming from. Develop that communication so there are no obstacles in between you and this other person. It's just whatever the world throws at you, right? Things out of your control. But you will act as one. You will be like one when these obstacles come your way. You will have this unity between you and this other person so there's no question of the love and the loyalty and the truth that they have for you and you for them. Okay. That was, that was neat. I like that spirit. Thank you. The sun, Archangel Uriel. And we have connection. and signs okay i'm going to move all of this down here because we're running out of room and that's all right we're just going to make room because spirit said to to have four piles so i better have four piles for you right okay there we go so this happy outcome brilliant new ideas that lead to success and confidence in yourself all right, you have a connection, unbreakable and eternal, and watch out for signs leading you to true love. I think with this, this is more of if you are with this person, they are going to give you confidence. They are going to be able to give you ideas on how to maybe work your gifts that you have been given. Maybe they will realize the gifts that you have been given and 
sometimes that's hard to see on your own, your different gifts that you have. And the fact that you are with this person and they can see you from an outside perspective, they are going to give you different perspectives into your gifts and maybe new ideas of how to use them. I think leading up to this connection, you will see signs that you are going to be with this person. It seems like something that there might be a trail of breadcrumbs to this person, or you may look back after you meet them and say, wow, look at this point in my life. That happened and we have this in connection. That can also happen, okay? So when you meet a person that is your soulmate, and you look back in each other's lives and you think, oh, they had a rough childhood and I had a rough childhood. They had a friend that betrayed them and I had a friend that betrayed, betrayed me. And, or they had a great success in this one job and so did I. Or they wrote a book and so did I. You're gonna have these different connections as you look back and you're able to see, oh wow, okay, we share a lot of similarities here and we have a lot of the, the same perspectives to work through, the same uh, paths that we've followed and maybe we can help each other follow a new path and get these ideas going for one another so that you can lead each other on a new path from where you have been. And the fact that this is the sun, that this is happiness, you're going to feel like you've been blessed with this connection. You will be thankful for this connection and it's also going to be unbreakable as well. So we have the world unity and the sun. These are all great connections. Let's see what the, the fourth one is here. We have the star. Wow. Okay. I guess we can't get better than this, can we? So we have Archangel Jophiel. And if I pronounce that incorrectly, I apologize. But I think that's correct. And we have happy times, positive, optimistic, long-term plans. That's absolutely amazing. Clarity and enlightenment. So this person it says clarity take time to think about your situation and to gain clarity and enlightenment with enlightenment there is no separation we recognize that we are one with the divine and what does the star symbolize having that spiritual connection right that spiritual connection and i think this person is going to awaken you to spirit or you are going to awaken them to spirit okay there's going to be definitely a spiritual awakening and enlightenment and clarity along your path to really answer a lot of the questions that you've had up to this point because sometimes our lives feel like they've just kind of been mashed together like there's a chunk and there's a chunk and there's a chunk and there's a chunk and we aren't really sure how they all fit together then we meet the right person and they teach us why these all fit together and that's all about that divine timing that's all about meeting that right person with that right connection and the fact that they are going to awaken you to spirituality or you to them is going to be huge but if you are awakening them to spirituality know that they are going to still teach you many different aspects of spirituality because i don't know if you've ever taught someone something and you think okay i know this pretty well i'm going to teach this person something and you start to teach it and they ask you questions and you think oh well i've never really thought about it that way let me get back to you on that and then you come up with a better answer than what you had before and you give it to that person and you move on, right? So the fact that they are going to be a great student to you 
means that you are going to learn so much more about your spirituality as well with this person. If they are teaching spirituality, spirituality to you, then that means that you are going to just be awash in spirit. And you may have one of those moments that I've described before in my past where you are just overwhelmed by emotion and the light washing over you and through you, cleansing your body, that spiritual awakening. It does happen and it's a beautiful, beautiful moment. So with this, this is a wonderful connection to spirit through this person, giving you clarity and enlightenment. All right, what great gifts. I mean, I couldn't ask for better cards. These are absolutely amazing. So my subscribers, I am so happy for you with this different connection. If this person isn't in your life yet, use this to channel your energy to manifest them into your life. It's all about divine timing, but this helpful manifestation that you are projecting them into your life does help because it's going to be, yes, spirit's going to give you a person, but what kind of person do you want? Sometimes you can tell spirit and say, Hey, you know what? It'd be great to have this type of person. It would be great to know this or this about life and the world that we know. And spirit can craft the person that is going to teach you exactly that. So if they aren't in your life yet, take this as a moment of manifestation, as a moment of focus to bring this certain person into your life. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I want to thank spirit for being here with us today. Know that you're loved, know that you're blessed, and I'll see you next time.